Hey everyone, I'm Dan. My girlfriend and I are building an expedition truck to travel Australia and potentially the world. So this week we're having a look at our slide out room mechanism. It needs a little bit of fine tuning before we can move on. The slide out room was something that I put a huge amount of thought into in the, in the beginning. Initially I was thinking about using bearings with a cantilever gate track, but I decided against that because I didn't want to use any bearings that could seize up after years of getting dust and sand inside them. So what I did was utilize a plain slide with two bits of stainless steel C-section and uh, RHS steel coated in Teflon sliding inside the, steel, in, inside the stainless steel. So I'll, we'll, we'll have a closer look at that when I go into the workshop, but for now we'll come over to the whiteboard and I'll show you what the problem is. Okay, welcome to the whiteboard. So this is the slide out room mechanism. This frame is made of steel RHS and it's got a linear actuator in the center which pushes it in and out. So this frame slides underneath the subframe of the truck and the slide out room is bolted to the front. As this frame gets pushed in and out, the slide out room rolls along the floor inside the truck. Now the problem I'm having is that because this linear actuator is mounted in the center, as it pushes out, these legs bend in a little bit, causes them to, to become out of parallel, which causes the frame to extend out of square, which will cause all kinds of problems for our ceiling and other things. So what, the easiest way to fix it would be to put a piece across the back like that, which hold the legs parallel, but I can't do that because that piece would interfere with the actuator. There's not enough room in here for the travel of the frame. So what I'm gonna do is get some nylon rollers, something similar to what you would see guiding a slide out, slide out gate, and I'm gonna put them inside each leg with a tensioner bolt behind each one so I can tighten them up and put more pressure on the legs if I have to. And what these rollers will do is they'll push the legs into the stainless steel channel and which should keep it keep it more square but it'll also allow me to put a bit more pressure on on one side if one side's extending faster than the other side and that should help to square it up and give it some fine adjustment now i'm pretty confident that i'll be able to get everything we need from the local hardware store so we'll head in there now and we'll have a look all right this is our slide out room mechanism this is the frame, and this is the stainless steel channel that it slides through. Normally there's Teflon on the top and the bottom of this frame, but I've got it off just because I'm working with it at the moment. So I've been into the hardware store and I've got four of these. It's just a sliding gate roller guide. It's a nylon roller on a 12 mil bolt, basically. And what I'm gonna do is make up some brackets that go inside the subframe. And these roller guides will sit like this. There'll be a tensioner bolt at the top and that tensioner bolt will push these guides into the inside of the frame, which will push this frame into the stainless steel channel. So as the frame's extending, the legs won't be able to bend in because these guides will be holding it into the channel and that should stop any, any unwanted movement as it extends. All right, I've finished assembling these brackets. So as you can see, they got a bit of movement. If you wind that nut out, it'll push this roller into the inside of the slide out frame and that should keep it all nice and square. It's pretty crude, but I think it's gonna do the job just fine. So I'll go and tack them on and we'll see how they work. brackets tacked in. The next thing I'm going to do is put the Teflon strips back onto the frame. We'll install the linear actuator and I'll run the frame in and out a few times to make sure it's all coming out square and parallel and then I'll go and weld everything off. Mm -hmm.
Alright, so I've got our frame installed. I just wanted to give you a look at how it looks from the inside. So here's our stainless steel channel. This is the frame. It's got a layer of Teflon on the top, one on the bottom, and then there's a layer on the outside of the frame. Here's our nylon rollers that are going to hold it in place. One there, and one at the front. And there's the linear actuator in the center. It pushes it in and out. So we'll start up the truck now and we'll test it out. I'm really happy with how that came out. The rollers seem to be pushing the frame into the stainless steel channel just nicely. There, there wasn't any movement and it seemed to come out pretty square. So the final test will be to see if this frame is parallel from the main frame. We'll have a look. Thirteen oh four and thirteen oh four. So that's millimetre perfect. You can't get much better than that. Now what I'm gonna do is take this frame out and weld out the brackets, and then that'll be it. So thank you very much for watching. That's it for this week. Next week, we're gonna be painting all this and painting underneath the frame and all the little bits we need to finish off before we start building the doors and getting it to lock up. So see you next week.